The thickness of the polymer windows used in EES detectors has been reduced for enhanced X-ray detection, but this has resulted in increased fragility. You may have heard that some EDS detectors now have silicon nitride windows, but may be hesitant to buy one because you are concerned about their mechanical robustness. We have produced this movie to demonstrate the sturdiness of this new material. Polymer windows are less than one micron in thickness, and all the guides for their use in cleaning mention how delicate they are. Users need to take care that they are not subject to too much mechanical or physical abuse, else they will fail. Here are a number of photographs of damaged windows. Although the origin of the damage is unknown for most of them, the damage seen was catastrophic enough to warrant factory repair. Because of gentle handling procedures, most failures seem to occur from particle impacts or mechanical puncture. Silicon nitride windows have been considered because of their ease of fabrication and low x-ray absorption, but in the past these windows didn't have the extremely thin geometries of the current design. So, when the windows are this thin, how robust can they be? The first test we are showing is a pressure cycle test. The pressure in the test chamber is controlled by a computer. It is first cycled slowly to exceed one and a half atmospheres. Then the pressure is cycled much more rapidly, exceeding five hertz. Cycling the window in this manner didn't cause a failure in excess of 17 million cycles. The next test is vacuum cycling within a chamber. The sealed windows are placed in a vacuum chamber. A mid-level vacuum is pulled on the chamber, and then the chamber is vented quickly. If the venting gas is diffused, no failures occur after 10,000 cycles. In this maximum pressure test, the window is mounted in a pressure test fixture. The pressure is controlled via computer. The digital reading is in megapascals, which is approximately 10 atmospheres. The window survives a pressure of more than 8 atmospheres with no failure. This is a very crude impact test. The window is mounted on a vacuum test fixture. A metal ruler is used to repeatedly strike the window housing. You can understand the strength of the hits by the generation of small particles on the window. The window doesn't break after numerous strikes. This is a simple shake test. A bare window mount is dropped into a plastic box, shaken vigorously, and then removed to show that it is unbroken. It is then placed in a pressure test fixture. The window is pressure cycled repeatedly to two atmospheres without breaking. 
In this test, the window is mounted on a bare end cap. It is dropped from increasing heights of a staircase to a ceramic floor. After dropping from two floors, the unbroken window is vacuum tested with a roughing pump. And now dropping from three floors. No window breakage is reserved for any of the tests up to the fourth floor. This is a vacuum cleaner test. The window is placed under vacuum and is positioned under the cleaner nozzle. The idea is that the vacuum cleaner should remove any dust particles from the surface. The window isn't damaged. This is a high temperature test. The window is mounted in a vacuum fixture. An industrial grade heat gun is used for maximum temperature output. A thermocouple reads a maximum temperature of approximately 650 degrees centigrade. To show the effects of the heat, a piece of paper is burned with the hot air. Lastly, the hot air is directed at the window. The window can withstand the heat for more than 10 seconds. This is a cryogenic test. A high vacuum is placed on the window. The window is then submerged into the liquid nitrogen for many seconds. When it is removed, the window is still intact. This test shows both the moisture resistance and the strength of the window. This is a test to see if the window can be cleaned with a liquid. A high vacuum is pulled on the window. A steady stream of water is directed at the window. The height of the water is increased to about a half a meter, and the window doesn't break. Compressed air is then used to remove the water and further clean the surface of the window. The window remains unbroken. The tests you have seen show that silicon nitride windows can withstand much more extreme mechanical and physical abuse than traditional polymer windows. They are highly reliable, moisture tolerant, and are safe for plasma cleaning. They also offer outstanding low energy performance with an increase in light element sensitivity up to 35%. So you should be sure to evaluate this game-changing detector technology when you are looking for your next materials characterization system.